All right, Bill. It's time to install your brand new Samsung dishwasher. This DIY job is no small order, but you're clearly up for the challenge. You got this. First, gather up the parts that came with the dishwasher and some tools you'll need from your own toolbox. Bill, installation starts with stability and security. Make sure your dishwasher's on solid flooring and close to a sink with plenty of room so you can open the door to load and unload dishes easily. If you're replacing your dishwasher, you likely have a hole already cut for the drain hose. But if not, use a two and a half inch hole saw to cut one. Make sure the water supply valve and circuit breaker are turned off before connecting the hot water line to the dishwasher. Now for the water temperature. Adjust the water heater so that the H2O is between 120 degrees and 149 degrees Fahrenheit. I know, I know, seems like high maintenance. But you'll thank me later when cycle times are short and the dishes come out sparkling. You'll also have to pay attention to codes, Bill. In the U.S., follow the National Electric Code, as well as state, municipal, and local codes. All right, Bill, the foundation has been laid. Let's get to that dishwasher. With the dishwasher unpacked, give it a look over to make sure all parts are included and in working condition. And then lift the dishwasher from the packing tray and position it on that stable floor. Always find a friend to help and handle with care so you don't damage the appliance. Bill, I hope you like checklists, because we got a lengthy one for mechanical and plumbing inspections. The plastic base assembly, the dishwasher feet, the thingamajigs on the bottom, yeah, those, the door latch, hinges, hot water connection on the back left side of the base, yep, all that stuff has to be looking perfect. Electrical components should also be in tip-top shape. Make sure the junction box cover is secured to the junction box on the front right side of the base. And the electrical box and control panel should be damage-free. If your model has auto-release dry, attach the protective sticker to the bottom of the countertop. Adjust the legs to get the dishwasher level. And connect the water hose to the dishwasher. Your installation guide has more details. Okay, now we have to hook up the hot water supply line. It'll take some maneuvering. Line up the dishwasher with the cabinet and power cable. And secure. Pull the drain hose through the hole in the sink cabinet sidewall. Then connect the hot water supply line to the fitting joint. Always use the correct parts and follow these steps closely or an LC or LE water leak error will display on some models that will temporarily keep your dishwasher from working. Slide the dishwasher carefully into the installation space. Now, use the level to check if the dishwasher is level front to back. If it isn't, simply adjust. It's now time to screw the dishwasher into your cabinets. First, lay down a towel to keep things from falling into the sump. Then, pre-drill holes into the kitchen cabinet. Insert the provided brackets into the side holes, tighten screws, and assemble the plastic cap to prevent leaks that could cause fire or electric shock. After installing the dishwasher inside the cabinet, make sure the door opens and closes with no interference. Now to secure the drain hose. Attach the drain hose to the sink connector. Slide the hose clamp to the end of the hose, and then tighten the hose clamp. If your sink has a garbage disposal, remember to always remove the drain plug before connecting, or the dishwasher won't drain. Finally, the wires. With your power disconnected, line up all the wiring by matching colors and connect. We're almost done, Bill. All that's left to do is remove all packaging from the inside. Turn the circuit breaker back on. Open the water supply valve. Turn on the dishwasher. 
and test with a quick cycle. Don't forget to attach the kick plate to the bottom of the dishwasher and screw it into the base. If you have any problems during this final stage, such as power issues or leaks, consult a professional installer for troubleshooting help. Well done, Bill! To recap, preparation is key when installing your dishwasher. Get the included parts and the right tools together. Ready the space for installation. Shut down water and power. Adjust the water temperature. And look up electric codes for your area. When you unpack, eyeball the dishwasher parts to make sure everything's in place and damage-free. Ensure the circuit breaker and water supply valve are turned off. Connect the hot water supply line, and then position the dishwasher, confirming its level front to back. Screw the dishwasher into the cabinet, secure the drain hose, and align and connect the wiring. Finally, slide into place. Turn the circuit breaker and water supply valve back on. Power up, attach the kick plate, and run a test cycle to finish installation. Bill, you installed that dishwasher like a champ. Now that you've got it down, I'm ready for you to install my dishwasher. What are you waiting for, Bill? Chop, chop.